Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dividing decimals. This is standard 5.3G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 4 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a rope here, it was 14.35, or 14 and 35 hundredths inches long. Megan's going to cut the rope into seven pieces. Each piece is going to be equal length. So we have equal groups, that lets us know we're going to be doing multiplication or division. What was the length of each piece of rope in inches? Well, if we take a look at our numbers, 14 and 35 hundredths and seven, then it looks like multiplication is not going to work because take a look at our answer selections. They all have a two point something. So it looks like we are going to be have, having to use our division here. And so it's going to be 14 35 hundredths divided by 7. So how do we divide when we have a decimal in our dividend? Well, let's first see if we can let's estimate. Let's estimate to the nearest whole number, because we know what the whole number, a decimal division, looks like. We're going to look at that 3, and that 3 is not going to change that 4 up, because it's going to make it round down to 14. So that's whole number, 14 divided by 7, that's, well, that gives us 2. Doesn't help us a whole lot, except I'm wondering if maybe we can kind of eliminate 2 5 and 2.55. Those are seeming just a little bit big. I'm thinking it's either going to be G or H. So if we were to draw a strip diagram of the whole thing here, we can say this is 14.35. Right, we're, we need seven equal units here. And we could add 2 7 times, and that's going to get us 14. So that would just leave us with this 0.35. So we need to add something 7 times to get to that 0.35. Well, I don't think there's going to be anything that we could do other than just that decimal division. So let's just look to see what it is, because it's not as hard as you might think it is. Let's use our long division. Here are the rules with decimal division. First, if there are any decimals in the divisor, you got to get rid of them by moving them to the right or the left and mirroring that in your dividend. There's not, so that's simple. It's just 7. We only want whole numbers in our divisor. So the second step is to take the decimal and move it straight up onto the quotient bar. And then that's it. We're just going to pretend like this decimal is gone. We're going to pretend it's 7 into 1,435. Once we move that decimal up, the division stays just like normal long division. So 7 goes into 1, 0 times. 7 goes into 14 twice. Remember, we're only bringing one digit down at a time. So we've got 7 goes into 3, 0 times. That's going on the back end of that decimal. So that's going to go in the tenth place. 0 times 7. Still have that 3, but now we're going to bring down that 5. 7 goes into 35 5 times. That will be even, so we don't need to extend. So 2 and 5 hundredths, which is very close to 2. Looks like that's H. So it looks like each of these could be 2.05. So what we want to do, we could just say that it goes all the way over. Let's just multiply, just to use inverse operations to double check that we did it correctly, because we know how to multiply by decimals. Let's see if we get back to that 14.35. So 5 times 7 is 5. Let's see, that's going to be 0, that's the 3, that's your 14. Remember, we look at how many digits are behind the decimal in the factors. I've got 1, 2, so we bring that back into our product. So it's 14.35, which is what we started with. So our answer is going to be H, 2 and 5 hundredths.